Welcome to Comics Experiment, right here at the Comic Storygen YouTube channel, which airs it every Saturday, but you can get it early if you go to patreon.com slash comic on Fridays, and you can get it even earlier if you go watch it live on Thursdays at twitch.tv slash comic and for a weird circumstance, you can get it super early because we aired it on Monday at Comic Storian. Twitch.tv slash Comic Story. And normally Mondays is our mystery cast, our CTV show, and whatever else we want to record. And Thursdays is Comics Experiment. Tuesday is Absolute Comics. But just to make it all confusing, today we're going to talk about Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. Why? Because there isn't much to talk about. But thank God for Honey, our sponsor today, keeping us afloat during the COVID disaster situation that is happening. Honey is a great app that will help you find great deals. And I'll tell you about it in the middle of today's episode. But I've already been talking way too long. Today's hosts for the Comics Experiment are Dan from Twitch and Andy <laughs> from down the street. <laughs> couple streets. You're a couple streets down, but a few. Yeah, one yeah. Or, once or twice. <laughs> All right. Is that a better opening, Dan? Do you seem like I'm not I sure like if it. you enjoyed it or, or, I or liked didn't it. like I it? I liked it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, um,. Justice League Apo Dark Apocalypse War. Good movie. Thank you, everybody. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I've ever watched a movie that I loved and hated so much at the same time. I oh, that's an interesting way to put it. Cause, well, because I, so I, I did not fully enjoy how we led to the story that was told, but I enjoy the story that was told. Does that kind of make sense? Andy, does that make sense? No, I'm incredibly confused. <laughs> what did you think about it then, Andy? See if you can clarify what Dan said. Uh, overall, I enjoyed it. I don't know why it was called Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. There's only like one member of the Justice League Dark in it. They it's, mentioned Zatanna and that girl that's all well, I mean, clad in purple yeah, when the house I'm, shows up. Well, it's because yeah, if it's Constantine, that's what I'm saying, like, it's Justice League Dark. Feel, it's much like the... Uh, what was the Harley Quinn movie actually called? Birds, birds of, prey. of prey birds of prey yeah it's like i don't know what dc's uh naming is doing right now it's like it doesn't make any sense uh you know that literally it could have just been called justice league apocalypse war yeah with that's... john constantine <laughs> <laughs> i feel like that's what it should have been called because i mean technically yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. conclusion to what we started with the what they call the first one that wasn't war i think it was just justice league when they it all met justice up league like, war i think so well, was that right after flashpoint though Yes, that yes. was the first one after uh, Flashpoint. I'm going to Google that real quick to make Justice sure. Justice League War, 2014. Jeez. Okay. Oh, no, I wasn't denying that. I want to have the actual order, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, this was the first one after Flashpoint, and it was technically the first one in the new the new 52 DC enemy universe. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay, so what a lot of people don't are, are – well, let's start off with this real quick. Okay, first off, going to be a ton of spoilers. This is where we're going into the oh, spoiler yes. territory. I loved it. Dan's mixed feelings on it. Andy, what is your non-spoiler opinion real quick? Overall, I thought it was good. Yeah. Uh, okay. I enjoyed it. So that, we're going to go – that there, the non-spoiler moments are out. Now, spoilers, this is the official ending of the DC animated movie universe. Okay? Mm -hmm. This the version movie, of it. Right, right. Well, this is their only attempt at an interlinking, interconnecting movie universe like this. Right. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So this is the ending of the first iteration, which has gone on for about seven years now. Um, the actual timeline was Flashpoint Paradox, War, Son of Batman, Throne of Atlantis, Batman vs. Robin, Batman Bad Blood, Justice League vs. the Teen Titans, Justice League Dark. Oh, the, yeah, it's, well, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That You already had a Justice League Dark movie. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Teen Titans... Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay, uh, Death of Superman, Reign of Superman, Batman mm -hmm. Hush, Wonder Woman Bloodline, and Justice League Dark. These are all considered the timeline for the New 52 animated universe, I guess? I guess. It, I mean, it, it right. took a lot of cues from the New 52. Yeah, well, I, like, costumes are the most obvious one. The I costumes, feel like... Justice League War was pretty much the first arc for the New 52 yep. Justice League. Almost exactly. Yeah, almost yep. exactly. Yeah, pretty much. I have a feeling um, this one was named Justice League Dark for the sake of it's not the Justice League. I have a feeling that was what it was more for. But it's was. more the Justice League than Justice League Dark. There's literally yeah. like one. I don't well, even Constantine think Etrigan is was just on the Justice League Dark in the Justice League Dark movie. I mean, I wait, Etrigan? Uh, Etrigan, yeah. Etrigan I don't think he was, was actually in Justice League Dark. 
They gave very the- little to him, which I found a bit weird that he was there. No, he was. Jason Blood, Etrigan, the Demon. Yeah. Because that's the one where he, uh, Constantine oh, yeah, he breaks okay, the yeah, vow, okay. the vow yeah, 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 to yeah. make him finally do it again. He's like, you jerk. Yeah. You're pulling a <laughs> Constantine on me. Okay. He was. Yeah. But still, so that's two members of the Justice League Dark plus mm-hmm. uh, Superman, Raven from the Titans, the Damien. Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> like there was more other like they should have just called it Justice League or just should have called it DC Apocalypse War. Probably I, yeah, I mean either one sense. of those would have made sense. Or if you want to yeah, go through yeah. clickbait, just like the end of the Justice League. Yeah, and then, so, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean the Justice it, League Dark has mostly just been a this is the magic based people though, which Raven, which there was a lot of magic in it. I will say that. But I have like a I'm feeling saying, just, you probably shouldn't have called it Justice League Dark. Yeah, but if they right. named it something else, they might not mind. get <laughs> opinions. Well, there's uh, no reason to, no anyway. reason to discuss the title. The title yes. doesn't even matter at this point. Um, so the movie, for those who don't know, it starts with a prologue. And the prologue is after everything that has happened, which I find a bit weird that that arc has not really been discussed since 2014. When they're like, right. oh, no, Dark Side's coming. And then they had all these like side stories of Batman Well, no, no, son. no. Uh, Dark Side has appeared, not appeared, but was behind the scenes in a lot of the other movies. Was it? Which uh, ones of the... Doomsday, in the Death of Superman, Doomsday was technically created by Darkseid. Yep. Uh, Cyborg Superman was also uh, teamed up with Darkseid. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Darkseid has been there. So, yeah. Very much it like wasn't the MCU with like, Thanos manipulating things. That's yeah, kind of. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Okay. So it wasn't just like Superman out of nowhere was like, guys, we should probably just go punch Darkseid a couple times. Anybody in? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> else is like, who's Darkseid? What? what are you yeah. talking like, about? Oh, I mean, half yeah, of we them dealt with him like that. seven years ago. It was a whole thing. <laughs> We feel like now he may just become a problem. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want him to show up and wipe out like half the universe. That would be really crappy. <laughs> so it was interesting because the movie takes the first 45 minutes and they immediately realize the folly of their way and they lose right off the bat. Mm-hmm. And I felt like this went in an Earth 2 direction, basically. Oh, yeah. Like everything just Dark Side 1, it's over. We're just going to mm-hmm. expedite to that point. Um, and that's where the movie took a really dark turn. Maybe that's why Darkest League, dark as in dark movie. Because yeah. literally, they show people's limbs getting ripped off. We got people's heads being split open. They're Eaten swearing. by paradooms. Yeah. It, the para, if paradigmas combined with doomsday is probably the worst thing that could ever happen to the to DC universe, especially as we've just discovered in this movie. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Big, big time. Um, nah, I'm but, sure it'd be right. But yeah, so the big issue with this whole movie was it like. It was really interesting because it, it picked up 45 minutes in. I'd say it even shorter than that, maybe 20 minutes in. I'd, yeah, it was pretty quick. It was yeah. almost immediately. Yeah, yeah, everyone loses, and we end up in the current current future with Superman being depowered. Batman is in the Morpheus chair. It's like a weird merger of the Earth 2 Mobius future. Okay. But yeah. Or is that called? I was oh, like, Morbius did you chair. just say the guy from the Matrix? <laughs> Yeah, no, the Mor- Morpheus, Morpheus chair. That's Morpheus. Morbius is the vampire from Spider-Man. You yeah. said <laughs> Morpheus, Mobius, though. The Mobius chair. Anyway, so it's like a mixture of Earth 2's future and mm-hmm. Dark Side War. Yeah. Because, like, I, the Mobius chair and things like that happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Flash being turned into a power source. Cyborg being merged with a wall. Them turning into the Furies. Wait, it, it, the whole... It was so dark and twisted and weird. And then Raven straight up says the F word, which I was, that's when I was like, what is this rated? Right. <laughs> the F word is what made you think that. Not the people getting ripped in half. Just I was de- stabbed through the face. I was no, debating the it with, the, with the, the blood and guts, but I'm like, PG-13. The lowest lane nude scene. I do not remember that. Wait, hold <laughs> up. Did I cut away? Is that an actual thing? Because I would not be surprised, to be honest. Dan's like, I gotta go watch this movie again. Hold on. Just what minute through. count? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just um, pause it. Yeah, no, it was. It goes real dark, real quick. Uh, the future's completely tore apart. And like, I think what blew my mind was they could, even once we were like, oh, okay, so we killed a whole bunch of them right at the beginning of the war. Mm-hmm. Then we continued to kill a bunch of them as we were going. Oh yeah, the back half of it. Yeah, more of them survived than you would have initially thought. So that way they could kill them off more yeah exactly gruesomely um it, it was almost like two hours of how do we kill the justice league 
That's really what it yeah. comes down to. And that and some of the fight sequences, I was almost like, look, I know Batgirl and Huntress and all of them would have ha- would have really enjoyed fighting a pair of Doom, but <laughs> yeah, that was there was one scene where they're like they're flipping around each other and Batwoman shooting them. I was like, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then like it catches Batgirl and they're like rip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I, I mean, I give them thirty seconds tops, and that's only because they've been trained by Batman, right? Um, what did you think about the what they did with the characters who in the end survived? So we get the Furies, we have Nightwing in a Lazarus pit, Damien taking over the assassins, which apparently is every future he lives in. This is what he. Does. I mean, that's like, what I would expect no, no, from no. him. <laughs> There's the Grant Morrison's future. He becomes a gun-toting Batman, well, which okay, is essentially the one future the he doesn't take over the Raza Ghoul of Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about like what they did to the characters in general the future superman depowered with that thing in his chest although he gets him back at the end but. right so i so this is what i meant about like i i both loved and hated it was uh as because i was looking at it in the same way that you guys were of justice league dark i was expecting either the justice league or the full justice league dark thing really hoped for detective chimp to show up but i guess that's too that far-fetched yeah uh but i i really i felt very off about how the storyline came to be like all the very, very gruesome things that happened to everyone, but I really liked the story that came out of that. And the Furies was honestly one of my favorite uh, because it showed a lot of the superheroes on the Justice League that you would expect to be very violent, trained warriors in a sense like this if they did not have a conscience. And I loved that because... Let's be honest, anytime Wonder Woman starts beating the crap out of people for real, it gets yeah. pretty badass. Um pretty cool. And I, I just thought it was I thought it was really cool. I kind of part of me kind of wished that there was at least one of the original Furies. Like maybe Granny Goodness showed up because they they replaced everyone with a lot of the Justice League members and stuff like that, but nothing is said about what happened to the originals that were already pretty powerful. Like, they were already competent warriors. That I felt like... question why Martian Manhunter was on the female-led team by Darkseid? (laughs) That that was one of the ones where I was like, wait, was it Martian Manhunter or Miss Martian? Do you think that there was was... a moment when they were converting everyone and Martian Manhunter's like, equality, I want to be a fury! (laughs) (laughs) Somebody was like, "Uh, Lord Darkseid, um, so there have been some rumblings amongst the parademons. Well, plus... uh, They find (laughs) that maybe there's, you know, just not enough equality in the furies. It's a thing. Well, because they they also did Hawkman. Yeah. Like, Hawkman was was almost entirely a robot at that point. He was a skeleton. (laughs) <laughs> I, I saw, like, nothing but Hawk skeleton. And I was like, that's actually kind of cool. I dig this. Um, I But, yeah, there were just a lot of things that were already present in, like, the doomsday... Or, yeah, in the dark side uh, lore that seemed to just be, okay, we've got the Justice League and all of them. None of that exists anymore. And that I was um, kind of a little... I mean, a you're not wrong. Like, Steppenwolf wasn't around. Kellebeck. There's a few exactly. of them that you would have been like, wouldn't one of them have been guarding Darkseid's palace while Batman yeah, and everyone's Exactly. And considering they knew the entire plan beforehand, it's not like they would have gotten caught off guard and taken out. Right. No, they clearly saw them coming the whole time. That is true. But, I mean, even, even that way, you figure maybe the Justice League might have gotten somebody before the Paradooms wipe them out possibly. so they got every general and then the paradooms <laughs> right. them yeah apart. or maybe <laughs> just dark side was like i don't even need you guys anymore i got these justice league guys <laughs> that i'm going to uh you know mix with a bunch of weird cyborg things so see ya right. i mean in all honesty that was lex's entire argument i met batman in the states and he's trying to take my place so yeah if that's the entire argument that you could just be removed so easily, yeah, I could see that. Uh, I have yeah. Batman. Why do I need you? <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I have Superman on the planet doing nothing. I don't need any yeah. of you anymore. Just I've got go Wonder away. Woman. Enough yeah. said. 
Yeah, I mean, like, the new Furies could have, like, wiped out the old Furies in some sort of trial by combat to see yeah. who should be on the Furies. Like, we don't know. There was two years in between. Yeah. So we're gonna, So now we need the side stories of what happened in that two years. Right. Like, Tie-in <laughs> issues. <laughs> Tie-in cartoons. 30 minutes of pop. Yeah. That, that would be those. funny. And actually love really that. awesome. Yeah, I would, I would probably watch them honestly. Yeah, you get to watch Wonder Woman and her Furies take out the original Furies. Oh yeah, what was the legless Captain Marvel or Shazam doing the whole time? Yeah. I thought I thought they were gonna do something with that. The way his leg came off and he got away, I'm like, oh, what is he gonna? Nothing yeah, came yeah, out he's, of that. He just like got he, a magic and Maybe leg. he's gonna be a major part of the resistance now. And he he almost looked like uh, what they call him in Flashpoint, Captain Thunder. I think yep. it was where he had like yeah. the scars on his face and things like that. So. Um. One big problem that I had with it overall was the Green Lanterns. Like, yeah, apparently, they, yeah. that movie. <laughs> <laughs> they basically went back to Oa and just just wiped, wiped them. And <laughs> we're going to hang up back. And, and I thought later. John was going to have that big moment. Right. Yeah. No, no, we get wiped I did, out. <laughs> I actually kind of liked that he didn't get the big moment just because it's one of those ones where you expect it. You expect the true. big moment. Yeah, there, it's you're like, oh, like, this uh, is going to be a turning point. Exactly. It's uh, kind of no, like the end extra of crispy now. Infinity War. It, it, it was War. funny. Like was everyone funny expected them to not snap yeah. the fingers, but he did, and everyone's like, what? It was, um, it was actually really funny the way they did it, too, because he's like, he's building, building, building. Like, drop lava on him. Like, that's, <laughs> that's the only... Batman, just drop lava. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't give us a different, uh, almost like in Deceased, though, a different hero becoming a Green Lantern. Yeah. Yeah. You know... I, Something along those lines, like, oh, this is like the last surviving Green Lantern on Earth right. after Hal got wiped out, or, you know, after Hal got killed, maybe whoever becomes a Green Lantern, you know, yada, right. yada, yada, whether it's Black Canary or, or to go with Deceased or, or a different right. character. Lois Lane becomes a Green Lantern. Why not? I, don't I, I was surprised on the fact that there were so few dead lanterns. Considering yeah, a lot the on number of Green Lanterns <laughs> that exist, they were like, hey, well, there are five dead ones on the ground. I mean, that's pretty much all of them. You kind of wonder why the the lanterns don't do something about dark side. Yeah, like in, in general. general. Yeah, 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 in general, in comics. Like, why are they letting this new god run around <laughs> and like take over whole realities? Uh, I mean, that's just poor, it's, poor management on the girl. Well, it's funny because they actually had that dark the the godhead storyline for Green Lanterns, where the like basically the. The, it was briefly explained as the Green Lanterns don't get into the affairs of the New Gods because they're above the laws of a normal multiverse. And right. the reason why the New Gods get involved in the Green Lanterns is because of the White Lantern Ring. They're like, you don't deserve this kind of power. And that, mm -hmm. that was the explanation why they never really butted heads too much. Right. It was all okay. but it was like a brief thing though. More like yeah. kind of like you said, like we have to explain why they've never gotten involved with each other. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. I could see that. Um, okay, so what did you think? Okay, let's... For, first thing we should do is open a portal! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Honey is a browser extension that allows you to find the best prices in seconds while shopping on Amazon. Hate trying to decide between different highly rated vendors? Or are you feeling misled by low prices but high shipping costs? Honey searches and calculates all prices, including shipping, helping you save as much money as possible. We use it ourselves when buying things for the office or for the set to make sure that we get the best deal. One of the best things about the extension is how easy it is to use and how much easier it makes shopping for frugal people like us here at Comicstorian. Honey has over 100,000 five-star reviews on the Google Chrome store, so you know it's a good product. In fact, Time Magazine even said it's basically free money. So next time you go to shop on Amazon, be sure to use the Honey browser extension to find the best deal and add Honey today for free at joinhoney.com slash rnbe. That's joinhoney.com slash rnbe to download the extension and start saving money by getting the best deals today. Can you open a boom tube? I was surprised Whoa. he didn't have Raven do it. <laughs> and then it closes. Boom, boom tube you back, Andy. Oh, I crap. Like that I forgot your left arm. <laughs> Go back to the boom yeah. tube. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay, so let's talk about in general, like, the... So the the movie, let's go to the ending of the movie. You know they're going to win. I First, I want to discuss Trigon. I had no idea. 
Trigon's okay. inclusion was a shocker to me. Not like I <clears throat> not in the fact that he was involved with Raven. I was like, that's normal. But the mm. fact that they just let him free to fight Darkseid, like And he was cool with that. I yeah. <laughs> loved He's that. He's like, yeah, sure, all right, I'll beat him up. I actually loved everything that happened around the Trigon. And I felt it actually all worked very well with the way that character works and the other characters work because John Constantine would be the one to go, you know what, the only way we're going to defeat this guy is if I fuse with the demon. That's pretty much the only thing that can defeat this guy. As well as I, I did like the fact that over time, Trigon did start weakening the capture spell that was in the gem mm. that they used because... I mean, that's what you would expect. Over time, the more she gets older, that like the stress and everything like that, it would have those effects. Um, and of all people for him to fuse with, I did like that they, they make it very clear that the reason why Superman is able to resist it is the fact that he was an unwilling host. Because Constantine's like, you, you should have taken the willing host. Like, it's a lot easier yeah, right. to handle me. Well, that me. was his spell. Yeah, it was like, you know. Exactly. And so I thought that was really good that they kept it that way and that what would make Superman snap out of it is his wife dying. Like, it, I can't believe like, they actually just is, killed her. I thought like he yeah. was going to snap out of it, go save her, come back. Like, oh, I'm Superman again, guys. Exactly. Like, nope, she's dead with the and whole Suicide Squad. <laughs> it would, it would have been great if, you know, he got a Red Lantern ring, but that's a different story. Uh I, I just really liked how they handled that, the look of what they made the Superman Trigon fusion to look like. I thought that yeah, was, it was awesome. Really cool, yeah. And then I, I did appreciate, I can see some concerns from some people of the fight between Darkseid and Trigon that, oh, he just willingly is sacrificing himself for this. But I did like that they made the note of, at the end of the day, he truly is Raven's father. And she gave him something that he wanted, a challenge. Like, and and I I did appreciate that. It was a little weird. I but I, I actually say, really they enjoyed get away that. with it simply because Trigon's motives have always been mostly unclear. Yeah, like his motive is I want to conquer Earth, but why? What is he trying to do? Why is it evolve? Like he's never really specified other than. This is a demon guy. Right. He wants to take over Earth. Like, that's yeah. all we've ever had. You never knew what the actual reasoning behind it was. Um, oh, I, had, I had something I was going to say on the Superman thing. The way he looked, yeah. him snapping I out mean, I like the way he looked overall with the Trigon thing. I thought that was interesting. I liked how they... I liked the overall plan. I liked that not everyone was savable. Yeah. Like, they couldn't save Cyborg. He's like, he's like I'm fused with the wall. And they kept trying. We got to take you with us. No, I've said it like three times. I cannot <laughs> Guys, leave. I feel right. like you're not listening to me. <laughs> I'm literally fused with Apocalypse right now. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, did, I did like that the reasoning behind why the Kryptonite got burned out was Trigon, though. Because I was kind of worried that they were going to make it into a, oh, Lex's suit actually siphoned the kryptonite out of him like the longer that he used it as the power source. Or, oh, Constantine was brought in to use magic to get the kryptonite out. Like, I, right, I really yeah, liked line, that yeah. it took so long for that to happen because in most times you would go, oh, Clearly something is going to be emotionally driven or is just a deus ex machina of, hey, he's Superman again. He's going to win. Right. But that the, wasn't uh, the I case, did like the I fact that. that the Lex suit was defeated like instantly. Yes. Like, he's like, I'm going to fight you, Darkseid. Rips it off. All right. He's not using that. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Oh, God, um, he wasn't so wearing any pants under there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the super dong. And Batman's like, now yeah. it's a black label comic. <laughs> 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 Superman's like, oh, first time. Oh, yeah, I did that a few months ago. Uh, yeah, they're yeah, going to censor all this, just a heads up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, okay, so that wraps everything up. Everybody's distraught. They're, 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 like, they end it with like Batman being like, even if we save the world, we're going to lose like 10 billion more lives. Yeah. Like, we're just going to yeah. lose everyone. It's and that's not going to work. Um, so they send Barry back in time. Ending the entire storyline in the most depressing note ever. 
Everyone is dead. I was, uh, I was expecting at the end, like, with the Flash hits, and then we would see glimpses of the new world, because it's kind of what they did in the Flashpoint movie. Right, right. yeah. I, or, or it's at least... like he comes, he comes back after the Flashpoint, and you kind of catch some glimpses of, like, okay, Batman's a little different, things like that. So I was expecting something along those lines. Nope, didn't even have that. I thought that they were going to have, like, oh, he saves the day, and, like, he runs back, and at the front of the Hall of Justice is the Justice League. And that's just yeah, where we're going to leave yeah, it. Like, yeah. Oh look, there some people are back. We'll figure this out later. Right. Uh, I was really, really so. From what I've looked into, they haven't actually said what is going on. They said that this is the official ending of the DC animated universe. Right. They don't know if they're going to continue it with like a new timeline or what they want to do. The only thing we know is that the first movie coming out is another origin of Superman. Okay. It's the Superman Man of Steel movie. It's going to be a retelling of his origin. It's also supposed to be the first time they've made a unique thing based on no comics. I really like so, that. I So I can see both of your complaints about the going back in time, not seeing any glimpses or anything like that. But honestly, that was my favorite part about him going back in time to do that, was that they aren't going, hey... Here's some things that we slightly have planned, or here's things that we now right. have to include. Instead, it was just, hey, you, everyone knows Flashpoint. Everyone knows that this, when he came back and he fixed it, it reset everything. And I liked that they make it very clear that that's what's going to happen. And now they have complete freedom to do what ever they want without having to go oh crap we showed uh aquaman with mara we have to make sure we include that they do get back together and something like that whereas now they could easily do a storyline with mara somehow ends up with orn the ocean master like there's so much different things that they could do especially going off of what you said benny of they're trying to go in a direction of we've never we're not following a comic line or any of that they're just going organic across the board is they can truly spend time to think about what they want to do and create a new original universe with different things happening. They've already got the next happening. three years planned out, though, so I don't think they're taking their time to create anything. <laughs> you understand <laughs> what I'm meaning, though. They're rolling out with though. the next ones. <laughs> well, I mean, what, like, you understand what I'm saying, though. Like, I there get what is you're saying. No... I'm just saying, like, I, oh, I, I would agree with you if they would take the time to make something unique. But they're just rolling out with the next... Like, they're not even stopping. It's already planned out. I think the there's that one. There's Batman Long Halloween is coming out. So that was yeah, already based on a Yeah, they're doing Long Halloween. But are we those confirmed to be in the same universe? Or are these just We don't one-offs? know because what's currently being counted as being in the universe is even things that you kind of assumed weren't in the universe, like Hush. Like, I didn't think Hush was a part of the continuity. Right. But apparently it is a part of that continuity, even though it felt... Hmm. Death of Superman didn't feel like it was a part of the continuity, but it's in that continuity. Well, I was going to say, it was all part of the continuity in the sense that um, they were based off of those comic books, obviously, like Death of Superman, Reign of Superman. Um, And if you looked at, like, the way Superman looked and the voice actors were the same and the fact that in the Death of Superman and in the... Uh, Reign of Superman, they used the same Justice League members with all the same voice actors and the same costume designs. So basically they were just like, we're going to make an animated universe and just make it all connected. Mm-hmm. Even right. if we take these classic stories, we're going to tweak them so they can fit into this new universe. Right. Right. Are was the, the idea, yeah. Do you know, because uh, you said that the, fir- the next Superman movie is going to be a new origin. Are all right. the ones planned already going to be just origins? No, um, let's see what they have planned right now. Because they have Batman: Long Halloween is generally, I want to say, it's in usually the second year of Batman's career. Yeah, yeah, they are they are early it was supposed thing. to take place. Yeah, and a lot of his supervillains were supposedly uh, introduced in that time frame. Because I would so really enjoy if they planned. moved in the deceased direction or something like that. I would, I would enjoy something like that, and it would make sense for coming out with just origin stories and then. Going with Killing those them characters, all off again. then exactly. Right. Everyone so Red Sun death. is not considered that timeline. Right, that, that makes sense. Apocalypse yeah, that War is, is pretty much all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Apocalypse War is its own timeline. Conclusion of the original storyline. Um, then we have Man of Tomorrow, Long Halloween, and Super Pets. Those are the first three announced to come out next. Super, Super Pets. Pets is a cartoon beyond belief, like really kitty cartoon. So I doubt it's going to be in any form of a 
uh, of they a actually, pod, but in canon. They actually <laughs> do go towards deceased and they throw in the super pets and <laughs> gets dark. Uh, there is one thing we didn't talk about that I want to talk about, guys. Uh, how do you feel about King Shark is a shark? That I was hilarious. <laughs> and then I liked at the end when he actually he's like, it was an honor to fight along your side. And he's and like, Captain what Boomer the? Is like, really? <laughs> <laughs> what I loved about that is the whole movie, even Natalie was starting to be, she's like, does he talk like that normally? I thought he could talk. I'm like, well, normally he say, can. I was going <laughs> to say, I, and I don't know tons about King Shark, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure he talks. In, yeah. In some he does, in some he doesn't. Because in that, uh, those DC dailies, the digital firsts, uh, in yeah. the Flash one, when King Shark talks, it's only King Shark is a shark. Like, that's okay. only what he says. So I believe it is an established thing. And I have a feeling that uh, the reason why he reverted back to that was kind of the the entire thing traumatized him. That was my interpretation of it. Like, he, because I he's believe... Just screwing around with Boomerang. Or he was screwing around with Boomerang. <laughs> Which is how Either I would way be works. It. Yeah. <laughs> it was the long con. Uh, it's good. Yeah, it's just, and then, you know, right before we die, I'm going to say something. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. I also uh, like the I, part Constantine was like, that's my ex. He's like, yes. King Shark is a shark. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. what? <laughs> uh, and it's, it's Constantine of all people would totally be in a relationship with someone like King Shark. Let's be honest. Yeah. I thought the uh, the the characterization of most of the characters was really good. I mm -hmm. like the versions of the you know the Suicide Squad that were in it, like Harley taking over, laughing about uh, Amanda Waller getting cancer. <laughs> and right. She's like, it's a coping mechanism, yeah. <laughs> you know. Natalie was and questioning. like they all know they're gonna die at the end, even but they're like, we're we're the Suicide Squad yeah. today. We're gonna learn live up to our name, but they actually do it for a reason instead of just like trying to get out of jail. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I like, I mean, all of the little, I mean, Damien taking over as, you know, the, the head of the League of the Assassins, Batman being Batman, but, you know, but an evil Batman. <laughs> That's all he was. An evil Like, he's still a dick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it was just like Batman's like, finally, I can tell this little yeah. bastard what I truly think of him. <laughs> and later, I'll blame it on brainwashing. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It wasn't What did me, you think about Nightwing? Lazarus pitted. That I that liked. Sucks for Nightwing. I feel of all the people who could come out of the Lazarus Pit, okay, Nightwing would probably be one of them. See, Just I like he's already been through much, so much trauma in his life, and that's why I liked that he didn't, because yeah. it made it very clear this is not the solution. We cannot use this. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, because if they did it on someone like Harley Quinn, you would go, "Well, she's crazy. Let's try it on." But if they try it on someone that is truly, everyone would believe. If anyone can yeah. overcome, it would be Nightwing, and he doesn't. I really liked that, because I always hate the excuses of, oh, we can bring them back super easily. Their death doesn't matter. But I liked that in this, it did matter. You There's did start why, losing Why people. didn't Damien take off the half of the domino mask he was still wearing? <laughs> Like you put him in a straight jacket, take off the mask. Why are you why are you re leaving him a half ripped mask in his cell? <laughs> it's wildly unsanitary. <laughs> Can you imagine how they would have done that though if they were gonna revive everyone with the Lazarus Pit? Uh all right, bring over Ho Aquaman, uh Hawker. Right. <laughs> Load him right, in. Put, put him in a pit. <laughs> All right, who's next? We got uh, Justice League International, bring all of them over. We got <laughs> Justice League Dark, bring all of them over. We got Justice League Odyssey, bring all of them over. Jesus, anyone, we got a lot of teams. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, has, has anyone thought about you, we use Justice League too much? I mean, <laughs> Way too often. Like, what if we call them the League of Justice? No, it's the same words. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. I so, like how they made. Uh, I like how they made Lois Lane a badass, like leader of the resistance, yes. which did, was a callback to like the original Flashpoint, where mm -hmm. she was kind of the leader of the resistance in that movie. I like when Lois like is that. a badass. Yeah, I th I, honestly, I pretty much, very much enjoyed the movie. I thought it was a really. I love the character designs of mm -hmm. like yeah. the Furies. I thought it was badass. Oh like, yeah. Although, okay, I, I got another question about the Furies though. When they okay. were making cyborg versions of everyone, mm -hmm. right? At what point were they like, let's give a snake tail to this one? That'll no, be no, totally that's, more that's easy. Functional. First of all, it's dark side. <laughs> so you know they brought him and they were like, all right, here we got the cyborg versions of the Justice League. We're going to use it for the Furies, right? What do you think? He's like, not terrifying enough. <laughs> um, have you thought about giving Martian Manhunter spider legs? <laughs> Why? He, he has nothing to do with spiders. Just, I'm, I, I see spider legs. 
You, no, you, you, you get into your hand motions, but have you thought about bringing Spider? Yeah. Have you thought about giving <laughs> Spider legs? <laughs> like this. See what I'm doing? Uh, but with legs. They're like, what? What do you mean by Spider legs? Like this. Like this. You know what I'm saying? He can and then we'll the make one like a little f- with a snake tail. A snake <laughs> and it's tail like Mira's legs. like, all right, well, we kind of ate her legs. No problem. Giant snake tail. <laughs> and they're like, but she's from the ocean. Just, just, just stay with me, okay? I have a vision. <laughs> I have a vision for this. Oh man. Um. All right. Well, I think I, overall that kind of covers all the bases of it. Are you excited about the direction they're taking this? Where we may or may not like. I, I want are, them to do. I really want them to do something different with. It. I want them to come up with a an original version of the DC universe. Mm. Right. And I wanted to see DC rebirth. Yeah. I feel like it'll be uh, a waste of an opportunity if they don't continue to link these together. Yes. In even the slightest of ways. Because they very yeah, slightly yeah. linked it together the first time. I think it would be a waste of an opportunity to end what they've been doing that we all enjoyed and, and you know watched all the movies for. Mm-hmm. And then just, okay, we're not liking them anymore. It's easier to hire different actors. Right. Here's, what, here's what's going to happen. All right. We're going to start the new universe. Okay. Okay. You with me? Stay with me. Okay. We're going to start the new universe. Um... We're going to get like three movies in and then Dr. Manhattan's going to show up out of no reason, right? Okay. <laughs> then 12 years between each movie <laughs> until 70 years from now, no one has any idea how this began. But uh. when you watch them as the whole, they work really well. Um. Uh. One thing I will say that I did enjoy about this ending, and I did not actually see coming, and it's a minor thing, but I didn't see them sending the Flash back to do a Flashpoint-style alteration again. Because Why? in the comics, we didn't do that. And it's always been an unwritten rule ever since Flashpoint, and any time Barry's broken the timeline, but Flashpoint was the most, the largest one he did, mm-hmm. that he, he shouldn't go back and do that. And they've made it very clear whenever he goes back, it's very wrong and he doesn't do that. Right. The but he, he said that in the movie. He, yeah, no, I, I know, I know, but that's always been And John was him. like, it can't be any worse. Yeah, John's <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> like, really? Like, what do you... <laughs> <laughs> you know, half of the team are cyborg monstrosities. <laughs> but um, I feel like everybody else is dead. <laughs> That's what I liked about it, though, that we went so far that this is the first time that we've ever had Barry with knowledge of having broken the timeline mm-hmm. where it's like, exactly, it can't get any worse. Yeah. You know, like See, I have the to second do they it. found Flash, I knew that's how they're going to fix it. Oh yeah. Well, no, when I they found yeah, Flash, yeah, yeah. and he I was did like, the... somebody's going back in time. Oh, they found Flash. Okay. Oh, and he's on the cosmic treadmill. All right, Flash right. is going to go and fix things. I mean, well, I, and, and if you had any question of it, the moment Constantine touched him and was like, "He calls Flashpoint." Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I was like, "Oh, well, Constantine impression." I actually, uh, I did enjoy that Constantine did that as well as I liked that they made it clear that everyone else was still unsure about whether or not Flashpoint existed. Because, like, it, when he said, like, when Constantine learns it, he's like, oh, that actually did happen. Because before that, everyone's kind of like, you know, I believe you a little bit. I'd be like, sure, Barry. But right. of all people, like, tell me more about the speed force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh. it was just interesting because, like, like I said, I as a Flash fan, that's always, like, rule number one. And it's funny because then, like, every year we have a he goes to change the timeline storyline. I was going to say, it's rule number one. You mean it's the first rule he always breaks. Right. <laughs> I mean, there's even that one, I forget what book it was where Booster Gold was, if Flash was like, I could fix this. Booster Gold was like, no, yeah. you did Flashpoint. <laughs> Stop. Like, if I was Superman at this point, I would have just keep constantly breaking Flash's leg <laughs> to be safe. <laughs> every he 10 minutes. It. Every so often, it's just like, I feel like saving my mom again. Let me go, let me go see. Maybe this time it'll be different. <laughs> you know, I mean, sure, it never works out but whatever i'm the flash <laughs> yeah uh yeah here we go uh our chats feel like it's in uh the gift he did it uh before the wedding he did it uh well, that was effect. booster kept going back in time that wasn't the flash though oh yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah but that wasn't was the flash booster. like i'm gonna fix it like he's like I'll, I'll fix whatever we did or whatever oh i don't know yeah that's what that line that was during tom king's run i kind of blanked most of that 
I think we need to do a mass reading of it, Andy. A live reading, like your, your a live favorite. reading, and oh like, just get my facial reactions the whole time. We'll do it like how Critical Role did their live readings, and those guys that are in the Harry Potter ones. We'll read all of Tom King's comic live, and you have to react. Live. I'll be sitting in front of a fire, <laughs> glass of brandy, <laughs> a nice Cigar. red silk robe, cigars. And I'll just be reading it to you, even doing the voices that you make you cringe, you know? And every oh, single yeah, one, you could be, be like, no, that was horrible. Stop. No, please. Stop. Don't. <laughs> stop. Why? Oh, you were awful. Why do people like you? <laughs> uh, maybe we'll make it a donation goal. Ten oh, hours of me and you going through Tom King's Batman. <laughs> Tom King's Batman. Just skip this part. It's pointless. <laughs> no, no. It's the double date. It'll be great. It'll be <laughs> Let's read the issue where Batman's biggest fear is that his wife will have a life outside of him. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It's one of the best issues of that run, man. I loved the wedding issue myself, you know, where nothing really happened. It is just a bunch of variant covers, but whatever. Uh, So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's special episode of Comics Experiment. Finally getting something to talk about, something actually happening. But let us know in the comments down below or in our Twitch chat or in our Patreon responses. What do you guys think? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Do you want more of the movie? What is your opinion on Justice League Dark? apocalypse war let us know and don't forget you can find us live here on uh mondays tuesdays and thursdays and if you are watching this live stick around we're about to start up our first episode of our dungeon the dragon superhero game which if it goes well we'll be going over to youtube eventually either way guys thank you so much for your support we really do appreciate it check out our sponsor honey helping us get through some tough times by bringing sponsorships to us and help you get you some great deals uh we can all say we hate andy we can all say we love dan And I'll see you guys next time right here at the Comics Experiment.